Ooh, blended. Do you see that? Period. Coronavirus! Hey, 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 what's good? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a get ready with me. Um, I'm just gonna be going out and like hanging out with friends. So I'm gonna be doing something very, like this is like my go-to routine. Like anytime I know I'm just gonna be like chilling, like it don't gotta be something too glam, nothing too serious, not too many steps. And I'm typically like trying to do this in like 30 minutes or less. Um, this is my go-to like quick glam, like soft glam. So if you guys are interested in getting ready with me and just getting ready with me in my new apartment that still has no furniture because everything is delayed then make sure you keep watching don't forget to click that thumbs up button you can turn on your post notifications as well when you click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already make sure you go ahead and do that and i love you guys and yeah let's just get into this video step one <laughs> my first thing is um SPF now. I never used to wear SPF in New York, which is really bad. Like only if I found myself um, going to the beach or something and I knew I was going to be like in direct sunlight, I would put SPF on. But on a day-to-day -day basis, no. But here in California, I literally, I have to wear sunscreen every single day because the sun is so strong that I really feel like I would burn or it would just not be good like that's too much uv rays and stuff so i do sunscreen i probably should apply more but that's i don't like it to be too much you know um this is an oil free sunscreen and it's breakout free because i have sensitive skin and it's spf 55 it's from neutrogena for primer I'm gonna do the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. Focus on, there you go. Even though it's really hot here every single day and I sweat a lot and I do get oily, I still like to hydrate my skin because that's what you're supposed to do. I still have dry skin even though I do get oily. The two foundations that I've been mixing are Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in 330 and CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. This is a nourishing foundation. This one's more neutral and this one has like a really orange undertone. Even though I did get darker, it's still too orange. My undertone is like more neutral golden. So that's why I mix them. I do the Fenty here along my jaw. I do it on my forehead like on the outside i do it right above my contour in between where i'm gonna lay my contour my highlight yeah that's pretty much everywhere that i place that one this is the cover girl you see how it's more neutral in color oh i put too much put that here and right but I've been doing this for a couple of months now and I really like the result. And you guys also like it too. I've done it in some TikToks and I've gotten so many questions like, wait, what is that? Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing your skin routine like that? I just like to map out where everything is and then blend it all into each other as opposed to like doing layers. I feel like this is quicker. Like if I wasn't talking, I would already been done blending everything out. But it not only is it quicker, I feel like it snatches your face better. Like I don't know what it is. I think everything is a little bit more intense because it's on bare skin as opposed to like contour being on top of foundation and concealer being blended on top of contour and foundation. Like everything kind of gets like softer. Redo my baby hairs. This is what it looks like, and then the last step is obviously to lay down your concealer. So I like the Too Faced. This is my favorite concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. They have light shades that you can conceal, and then they have darker shades that you can use as contour. But I just use this is shade Golden Beige, and I lay it right under here. 
It seems like a lot of product, but it's actually not. Everything is like a really thin layer that I'm doing. I'm not like putting on a ton of product. I could be going in, you know? I'm not though. And then I do a little bit right here. Okay, so that's what my face looks like. And then I go in with a flat top foundation brush. This is like a kabuki brush. It's very dense. And I just blend everything together. And I always have a piece of paper towel or like tissue and I'll like blot the brush as I'm blending out. You guys are gonna see right now. And I always start by blending out the darkest first. So I'm blending out my contour first. Um, it just helps with everything blending into the darkest areas as opposed to blending light into dark. And then it also allows you to like just really see the blend. You guys are gonna see. So I always put one hand here and I'm blending. I'm like, for my forehead, I'm blending down like towards the center of my face. So I'm blending this way and my cheeks, I'm gonna be blending this way. And my jawline, I blend down to snatch it, you know. And I'm like patting. I'm not like swiping. It's kind of like a combination of like a swipe and a pat, like a pounce. And I'm starting to blend the contour into the foundations that I had laying there. And then the foundation into the concealer. So I'm telling you like, if you're not, if like when you become accustomed to this method, you can literally do your face in like four minutes. Like I've mapped out everything and blended out in like three minutes and my whole skin was done. And I just had to set it with a powder. And then I like threw on brows and mascara and I was out the door, you know? So now I'm doing my cheek and I always blend up. You don't want to blend down where you place it. You want to blend this up this way into the concealer that you have laying here and then there was a little bit of foundation there too so it's like contour foundation concealer and that's really just that blend is so so pretty watch just watch girl and then i'll go under here And then I blend out my chin. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Do you see the blend? Do you see it? You see how it's coming together, right? Okay. I know y'all was worried there for a second, but to be worried about you guys and then i go in with okay so this i forgot to say the number this is a morphe e31 for the foundation brush for blending out my under eye and my nose contour i use a smaller dense concealer brush this one's from fenty beauty this is the 180 concealer brush i'll have all the products that i list um down below in the description box some of them might be affiliate links so just letting you guys know, but I love this brush so much. I actually need to buy a second one, and I've said that so many times and I still haven't done it, because I use it for my concealer and my contour. <sighs> it just does something for my face that I just can't. So first I'm gonna, I cleaned it off. I'm just gonna go up here where I have the contour still kind of a little bit heavy in my baby hairs. Yeah, that's better. And I'm still same padding motion, even with this brush. Press it in. This brush, you just need a flat dense. Like you need a brush with a flat top and it's dense, meaning there's a lot of hairs in it. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend out the nose contour. So I'm gonna start up here and I like to push my contour up into my brow 
it's creating a shadow here that's slimming my nose at the top of my bridge of the bridge of my nose and then i'm just gonna follow it down so it looks really natural it looks like it's not like the contour is just sitting on the sides of my nose like you want it to push up into your brow bone and into your brow it just makes it look so so natural it looks so good and sometimes i even will bring the excess or whatever's on my brush into my crease so following from the nose into the crease and i'll do the same thing with my powder bronzer later on and i'm gonna start doing a dragging like swiping motion because i want to blend out my nose but i don't want to co come up on the concealer or go down because this concealer is going to get blended up so <laughs> i'm trying to snatch my nose um so you want to blend swiping motion up and you're following the top where you were just blending out into the brow bone you're bringing that product all the way up there too and already you see how my nose looks snatched it matches the same this color here it's so soft but it's so like even in out here and here and even down here so it looks like a natural shadow because it's represented all over my face does that make sense <laughs> i'm gonna blend i like to blend the point the nose into each other like both sides here We're just coming towards the center to and now that that's completely blended i'm cleaning off my brush whatever contour i have i feel like it blends better because it has both products in it but that might just be me um i'm gonna start around my nose and this concealer has started to dry down which is what we want because it holds um better consistency and it's also going to look more full coverage because we let it dry down some shout out to aunt jackie she taught me that you're gonna blend that concealer onto the sides of your nose and blend it in between that contour and the highlight you're gonna mend the two here all the way down your nose i'm use blending and then i'm moving up to the very edge of this nose highlight that I have still laying there that's waiting to get blended out and I'm gonna start pressing in the edges. And this is really snatching it up, okay? I'm gonna go over here to the eyes and I'm gonna just blend this out. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna actually close my eye and bring that concealer up and leave it right on my lid and it's like I'm highlighting this area which is making that contour that I placed in the brow bone and I mean in my cut crease and um, pushed up into my brow it's going to make it look more prominent because I've highlighted right underneath that contour I'm like trying to be really descriptive because you guys asked me about this all the time on my stories so this is for everyone on instagram that's always wondering like how i do my face this is literally how i do it so that side's blended right then i'm gonna go with my foundation brush no product on it and i'm just gonna press that concealer that i tapped out into my contour Ooh, blended do you see that Period. Then I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna start to just tap out this concealer that's pretty much fully dry down now at this point. That's that. Then I'm gonna go in with my powder and I'm gonna set everything. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Loose Powder in 600 Banana. I really like this powder. It has like these tiny little like, I don't want to say sparkles, but like it's not sparkles, but it's not a fully matte powder. 
It's like a satiny powder and it looks so good. Pressed under the eye, it, it makes it look like airbrushed. It's so pretty. So I take some on a brush. I'm gonna press it under my eye, around my nose. under my contour I started doing this again a couple months ago and it honestly like I see it it really does something for your your makeup and just like your face it makes your face look hella snatched but in pictures is where it really comes like alive I don't like to put too like heavy you see how I'm like pressing it in like it's there you can see it on my skin but I don't like it super heavy like a layer of powder then i'm gonna go in with my bronzer i've been using this bronzer for over a year now miss caramel cutie sun stalker bronzer from fenty beauty i'm obsessed with this bronzer i cannot use anything else literally cannot so i did my brush this is a mac 135 the number rubbed off but i remember i used to work there <laughs> um and i'm gonna do my contour this is what i set my matchstick with in truffle i just press this up here i smile because i want like my cheeks to be like like i want them to look around and don't forget your jawline down your neck period poo then i'm gonna go in with a small fluffy brush and my same bronzer and i'm gonna dip into it and i'm gonna go over my contour but i'm gonna be very light light circular motions bring it into my crease and then push it down the sides of my nose. Then I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is California from Benefit Cosmetics. I'm gonna smile so I can get the apples in my cheeks. Oh, I miss telling my clients, okay, smile. Sometimes I'll be like right there, just a little. Just a little, little so and show you. For my brows, I literally have not been filling in my brows with any kind of pencil. I've just been doing brow gel because it's too hot in California. I don't want to sweat a brow off. And these are like very long wearing. So I use Gimme Brow from Benefit Cosmetics in, I believe this is shade four, because that's what I use all of their pencils in. But this is Gimme Brow. Then I'm gonna go in with my um, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I put three people onto this in the last like two to three weeks and they all come back and told me that they love this brow gel. I go, this is the last thing, I go back in with my foundation brush and I press the setting powder that I have sitting on my face into my skin. And I'm using this instead of a power powder brush to brush it away because I want it to like melt into the foundation that I have laying there. And then I also have some like leftover product in the brush, obviously. So it's kind of just marrying the two. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fix Plus from MAC. This is a lavender. Love lavender. This is where I, sometimes I go in with my sponge and it don't even be wet sometimes. And I just press the setting spray into everything. Honey, we are set, like we're good. I've been really liking the Fenty Beauty mascara full frontal and cause I'm black. So I do a little coat before I put my lashes on. These are Destiny Shop lashes in the style extra hot, extra hot. They will be linked down below if you want to purchase them. Period. Um, the last 
thing, the last few things, I like to take my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm Highlighter and how many carrots. This is like the one that's, there's no pigment, it's just shimmer or just glitter. I like to just put it a little bit right on Ridge? Why am I whispering? And then I take the brush and I just press where my eye is. Okay, for my lip, I always do the same thing because I'm really basic and I like what I like. <laughs> Use cork from MAC. That is my, it's like, it matches my, my top lip is darker than my bottom lip. So it matches my top lip color like perfectly. So it doesn't feel like too much, you know? I just do a little overline on my cupola. And then I do the bottom. Look, this is a Forever 21 lip gloss. Literally like it's just some little crappy like $2 lip gloss but it's a pretty color when it's layered with a lip liner. And I just use my finger. It says high shine, but it's literally like a satin lipstick in a tube because there's no shine. It's very creamy, but there's no shine to it. It's cause this, the one that I grabbed is discontinued. So I don't want to like tell you guys about it and you really like it and then you can't get it. But it's just like, a champagne kind of gloss like mac has so many glosses like this this is from mac patrick star they like do this color in like every collection so it's not like you can't find it but the color is to work for gifts it's a dazzle glass i do it here Alrighty, so my makeup is done. My hair is already done. But I'm gonna take you guys with me <laughs> to the bathroom because I'm about to get dressed. And I wanna show you guys my outfit before I leave. Okay, so I have on this orange bodycon dress from I think this is from Windsor. I think so. If I can find the link, I don't think I'll be able to find the link, but if I can find it, I'll link it. I think period. That bitch is looking snatch, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Windsor. Ooh, I look good. Yeah, I have clear heels. And then I also have these white heels. I have clear mules. And then I have white heels. Um, Insta boomerangs. Ooh, I look cute though. Ooh, no. <laughs> that was cute though. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> We're just going to a hookah bar. So I don't need to be doing a lot. So I'm gonna just wear sneakers. Okay, so I put these fake rings on that only fit my ring and my index finger on this hand and my ring finger on this hand because my fingers are fat. And then I have this clear bag from Pretty Little Thing and this cropped denim, ja cropped denim jacket. This is literally my go-to. Like, I need another one of these in black. But this is from Zara, Stan Smith's, and yeah. I beat the f out of my face earlier and I showed you guys. I've had it on for like a couple hours now. But baby hairs is laid. Pretty dumb. I changed my lip, but I like this better. This is sold out too. But it's MAC Aladdin lip gloss in Magic Carpet Ride. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below go ahead and turn on your post notifications i upload twice a week so you can be notified every time i do upload and yeah that's the end of this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye